Welcome back to New Rockstars. I'm Tommy Bechtold and Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PS4 and PS5 is littered with Easter eggs and hidden references to previous games, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and the broader MCU at large. I'm going to run through as many of the cool details and comic references as we can find. And I should say, spoiler warning, some of these come up later in the game. So if you haven't finished it yet, or if you're like me and just have thumbs that are too big to play a video game, and you have to watch your little nephew play, Obviously, there's a lot of the same references as the 2018 PS4 games, such as Daredevil's Losses or the Sanctum Sanctorum, for instance. This game does a great job of adding to the legacy of that game, well, including the star of Into the Spider-Verse is Miles Morales. So, I mean, I think that's super exciting and an interesting take to bring forward into the game. Miles Morales is a super popular character, and giving him the video game treatment and hopefully pretty soon the movie treatment is definitely the way to go. We get some of Miles' unique personality and background throughout the game, like how you can make him salsa dance and how he does that iconic cringe finger guns from Spider-Man 3, but his fingers this time are charged with bioelectric power, so a little less cringy, a little more singy. Oh, and they even referenced Tom Holland holding the ferry together with spider webs in Spider-Man Homecoming. Pretty cool. You know what they say, baby, in these video games, it's all about locations, locations, locations. <coughs> Avengers Tower is still in the same spot as the previous game, forever tempting us with the possibility of other Avengers or superheroes showing up. Get off your ass, Hawkeye! And crying out loud, what are you doing, shooting arrows? Starting your own cell phone app? Good lord. New since 2018, there's a massive Black Lives Matter mural in the background, and completing some missions will get you a black and yellow suit, which are the signature colors of the Black Lives Matter iconography. In the first Spider-Man, you could visit a cemetery in Harlem where you could pay your respects to Ben Parker's grave. R.I.P. Uncle Ben. You was a bad one. This is back in Miles Morales' world with more graves to get misty over. I'm gonna miss everybody. Aunt May. Officer Davis. Speaking of touching memorials, Stan Lee made a cameo in the 2018 game as Mick, the short order cook. You can return to the same diner where Peter and MJ bumped into Mick and see a giant statue outside of the diner in his honor. The inscription reads, dedicated with love to the man who nourished the hearts, minds, and souls of true believers everywhere, Excelsior. What a great in-universe tip of the hat to the great Stan Lee. Let's talk developer details. Insomniac Games put a lot of great developer details and nods to the greater Marvel Universe. They snuck their own logo in as a chandelier in the mall during the fight with Rhino. Getting back to tear-jerking real-life tributes, the developers put a tribute of the recently passed Black Panther actor Chadwick Boseman at the end credits once you finish the game. There's also a Boseman Way street in the game. In Miles Morales, one of the time capsules players can find contains the green and black Wakandan flag. Miles social media handle is B-K-L-Y-N Spider 42 with the number referring to Jackie Robinson's jersey number. Jackie Robinson was the player who integrated baseball and he's the hero of Miles Morales who is kind of integrating the Spider-Verse. So I, I think that was really clever although if your handle has Spider in it you're not really keeping a secret identity are you? In a later mission we find out that Fisk uses Vanessa, the love of Fisk's life and the only person he actually cares about as his password. Lame. Set a reminder to delete all of my passwords that contain the words Rebel Rebecca. At the start of the game, you can look next to Miles' bedside and spot an issue of The Amazing Fantasy, number 15, featuring Spider-Man's first appearance from Marvel Comics. Mint copies of the original comic sell for over a million dollars. So is Miles a secret millionaire? The same comic was in Peter's bedroom in the previous game, so maybe they should both just retire. But that's not having great responsibility to go along with the great powers, so Uncle Ben would not approve. All right, let's talk character references. Miles finds two ticket stubs for a 2015 concert of Dazzler and Lila Cheney. Dazzler is the mutant Allison Blair and Lila Cheney is a mutant musician who can teleport. Sounds like a fun concert. Miles also comes across a computer graphics card with handwriting on it that says Mastermind X4. Mutant villain Mastermind first appeared in X-Men issue 4. Clearly the two Easter eggs are proof that we'll get mutants in the MCU. Confirmed. No doubt about it. A little bit of doubt about it. For non-mutant character references, there's Roxon Terminal with descriptions of criminal associates. The first is for a cat burglar who's recently retired. Black Cat who appeared in the first game and all those side missions and extra content. The second is the leader of a bunker gang, Tombstone, who Peter also tangled with in the first game. The last person mentioned is a reference to Miles' uncle Aaron, aka Prowler. On a tape recorder, Daily Bugle head honcho J. Jonah Jameson can be heard complaining about Spider-Man. And where will it all end? Spider-Woman? Spider-Punk? Spider-Punk? 
Pig? Who all of us Spiderheads know is a legit crime fighter. Voiced by John Mulaney. That's a crazy thing to say. Speaking of Into the Spider-Verse references, players can get the Vibe the Verse suit mod, which will recreate the life stuttered 24 frames per second hand animation feel of the movie. There's also the Bam Pow Wham Visor mod that adds comic book style onomatopoeia when you attack enemies that really drive the cartoon feel home. Miles can also hit the iconic reclining while falling pose from the movie. Those that pre-order the game or get to a certain level can unlock the Spider-Verse suit. Hilariously, the game has the same exact fall animation as the movie does when Miles falls from heights. Let's talk cutscene. During a flashback in which young Miles visits the Science Center, Miles bumps into Peter Parker, accompanied by Doc Ock himself, Otto Octavius. Speaking of cameos, the post credit scene from 2018's Spider-Man game showed Harry Osborn being treated for Ostoran syndrome with the use of symbiote while his father Norman looked on. The mid credit scene of Miles Morales expands on that moment, but from Harry's perspective, inside the green tank. We see aquariums that look like they're holding reptiles, which makes sense since his doctor is Kirk Connors, aka the Lizard, Norman Osborn, Green Goblin, Harry Osborn, Venom, and Kirk Connors, Lizard means we're halfway to a Sinister Six, and I'm here for that. Comment below if you want me or New Rockstars to cover more gaming topics. Talk gaming and all the other nerdy topics on New Rockstars Discord by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash new rockstars. You can even make Sunday football picks with me and a group of other guys that are super fun. There's a prize at the end of the season. You're going to have to hurry up, though, because we got a three-week head start on you. Follow me at Tommy Bechtold, follow New Rockstars, and subscribe for more great breakdowns of the things you love. Good day.